Hello and welcome to another presentation by Learn Codings. Uh, this presentation is uh, seven reasons why epoxy floors fail. Uh, this is quite an interesting subject because uh, epoxy floors are beautiful products and they make beautiful surfaces, but sometimes we have these um, really ugly looking results. Uh, epoxy floors do go wrong many times and there's several reasons why they go wrong and uh, this presentation is looking at these reasons and uh, suggesting ways to avoid the problems in the future. So what causes flooring projects to fail? Top seven reasons. Number one, this is in my opinion the most important and the one that just comes up again and again and again. Poor surface preparation. If you are going to coat epoxy onto an old surface, you need to make sure that surface is ready to accept the epoxy coat. You need to grind the surface, you need to clean it, it needs to be dry, it must be dust free. There's a lot of time has to go into preparing the surface properly to be able to coat it with epoxies. The second main reason that we have identified is humidity. You need to know epoxy products, they do not bond well with humidity. I'm talking about solvent based epoxy products here. So when you are coating epoxy on surfaces, you have to make sure that surface is completely dry. We don't want any wetness, any humidity. Make sure there are no pipes or taps dripping. And of course, make sure there's no humidity from beneath the ground. Sometimes uh, in areas near rivers or marshes, you may actually get humidity entering, uh, kind of rising up to the, to the substrate. Make sure you don't have those problems there, otherwise your epoxy coat will fail. Third main reason why epoxy floors might fail, a weak substrate. This happens when you coat the epoxy floor product onto a low quality cement. What ends up happening is the cement is too weak and it ends up cracking. So it's not actually the epoxy floor that's failing, but it's the, the cement beneath that's failing. And the slide explains it. The cement actually deta detaches itself from the cement. Reason number four, no primer or not using the correct primer. You must prime the surface. When you are going to apply epoxies, make sure you use a suitable primer. The primer helps seal the pores penetrate the pores, it makes it possible for adhesion and bonding to take place. You know, you want to make sure that this coat is going to bond well with the concrete and the primer will act as the intermediate layer that will enable that bonding. Keep in mind, floors experience heavy wear and tear. Don't just assume that industrial floor screeds will just simply stick to a concrete. So you must make sure that you're, you're using a primer that will help in that respect. Number five, the fifth reason why epoxy floors fail, incompatible surface. This is quite an important one. It doesn't happen as often, but it's quite important. What happens here is the substrate may not be compatible for epoxies. One example is you never coat epoxies on wood because what happens, wood is a very flexible, it's kind of a flexible, it's a material that bends and breaks. Epo if you try putting epoxy on something that bends, the epoxy will crack because the epoxy is much more firmer than the wood so it will crack so you want to make sure that whatever you put underneath has the same sort of tensile strength as epoxy like a strong concrete for example you don't want to you don't want to coat it on wood you don't want to coat it on a sheet of metal you don't want to coat it on something that's flexible like pvc lining sixth main reason why epoxy floors may fail contaminated floors this problem is quite uh, common in older installations, uh, for example, an old food or drink factory, maybe a car service shop, a workshop, where over the years they just the floor has been polluted with various uh, oils and greases and all types of chemicals. And uh, what happens if you try to actually coat epoxy on that, you will get a reaction and there will be no bonding can take place. That's why it's very important to, uh, let's just go back a step, it's very important to properly clean the surface. Look at this picture here. This was actually an oil factory with lots of oils, very polluted. And we had to mill it and grind it and get clean concrete so we could actually coat epoxy over it. Finally, the seventh reason that we have identified is the, um, the wrong resin and hardener mix. What do we mean by this? Epoxy floors are two-pack systems. They have a hardener and a resin. You need to mix the two before you actually apply the product. Now what happens is usually these come supplied in pre-packaged amounts. 
And one mistake people make is they kind of assume that you don't need to weigh exactly the proportions of A and of the A component and the B component. They just think, oh, let's just mix them together. They'll be fine. That is actually a wrong thing to do. Make sure that you are mixing the product according to the specified proportions. Also, make sure that you're mixing the product with a real electrical mixer. Some people think they can just stick a stick and mix mix the product, but that will not work. You need an electrical mixer that's powerful enough to create a uniform mix and a uniform mixture throughout the bucket. What ends up happening is that your epoxy will be sticky. If it doesn't cure properly, you may end up having a wrong proportion of, of the resin to, versus the hardener, and the epoxy might be sticky, it might be, it might be soft, and it will never ever cure. So make sure you don't get the mixing wrong. Basically, just follow the instructions and mix it properly. Well, those are the seven reasons that we just described. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this presentation, go over to learncodings.com and you can sign up. You can get regular updates. You can get free goodies and uh, get all our information. Have a look at all our articles. There's lots of information there for you. You can learn a lot about epoxies. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it, please like it. It helps us spread the word. Thank you very much.